Many French politicians, artists, and producers say it's the second invasion of Normandy. They charge the Americans with trying to crush the French film industry. The Americans want films and TV programming on the bargaining table at World Trade Talks. The U.S. is also pushing for France to stop subsidizing their films. This, the French say, would kill its homegrown movie industry. If they don't have control over their audiovisual market, the French fear they will be flooded with American entertainment. Since the French maintain their cinema is deeply rooted in their culture, officials say the Canada-U.S. free trade agreement is the model for their position at the Gap Talks. We consider Canada uh, uh, as a sort of example as far as uh, uh, cultural negotiations with the United States are a regard. Canada got uh, general uh, cultural uh, exemption, especially for the film and TV industry. The Hollywood film community says the French should compete on equal terms and let the consumer decide what entertainment they want to see. 55 or something like that million French inhabitants and to make them happy it's easy, it's a given good film. Close to 60% of French moviegoers saw American films last year, which brought in over half a billion dollars to U.S. producers. Just over a third saw movies produced in France. French actor Kadar Boukhanev admits that his country's films don't have mass appeal. What we have as in French, it's we, we are touching another kind of cinema, more intellectual, more... We're thinking more, uh, it's not violence or uh, I'm the hero and uh, we're crying at the end and I love you on the beach and all that. Not, we, don't know, we don't do the same cinema. French film director Paul Vecchiali disagrees with protectionists fighting to maintain barriers on the movie business. He says people are the culture of the nation and shouldn't feel threatened by American entertainment. He says there are more important problems in the French film industry other than culture. Money. Money. Only money. He says co-productions are the solution. And I wish uh, American come in France with money. Over the centuries, French culture has influenced the world. The Impressionist movement was inspired by such painters as Renoir, Degas, and Monet. The world listens to French music from Debussy to Piaf. Audiences line up to see Les Miserables. French authors have won more Nobel Prizes than any other nation, 11 in all. And then there's French cooking and the wine. The world's first movie theater opened in Paris in 1896. Now, almost 100 years later, in this ocean of rich culture, the French fight to keep afloat one more dimension of their heritage. Some European countries are sympathetic to the French cause of preserving their culture at trade talks because the other nationalities are concerned that their own culture might come under attack from the unstoppable internationalization of the global economy. Neil Lundy, Global News, Paris.